Hi, in this video I want to show you the multiplayer example I built with Phaser. Just go to this URL. It's uh, hosted on uh, Heroku on a free dyno. So sometimes it takes up, the, up to a minute to load. But that's completely normal. If you are then on this page, you can either play the game, debug the physics or view the server stats. That's what I will do first. We see that no user are connected, no rooms are active, and the CPU is near to zero. So, uh, then up, we go to the root URL and we play the game. So, we have uh, four options here. One uh, level is made with uh, matter physics and the other three are made with uh, arcade physics. So we first play the matter one. So you see, um, as soon as I click, there's a room. Uh, each room has its own phase instance. And that's the server will generate that uh, room for us. And of course, a new player. So and the goal in this uh, in this game is to catch the orange star. Of course, it's very hard if you're alone. So why not adding a second player? Yes, so we can play with our fr friends. And move the boxes in the middle. All these to try and catch the star. Yes. So now you see you can play together. Uh, each room can handle up to four uh, players. That, that's how I set it up. You can, of course, set it to 10 or 12 as you want. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you click this bug, you see the debug window. And currently, there are two players connected to this room. And uh, just let connect two more. So, here's the third and there's the fourth player so and you see the room is full if we then create another uh, I want to add another player it will be alone in its own room and you see we have here in the stats five user connected in two different rooms so then we close all of them and you see that uh, the users disappear and the room uh, get closed and uh, now we have uh, three players left, I believe. Yes, they are all in the same room. So three players, one room. And uh, the other room has been removed. The scene in room has stopped and so on. You can see all the logs here. Now I want to show you the other game. Just remove these. Go back here to the play. And then we can see we have uh, zero rooms in a minute, in a few seconds. It takes us some time to shut down. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Because when we are in the lobby here, we don't use a room and no player is connected. So we go to the arcade level. This is a simple platform again. Uh, you can see also the debug logs here. For now, you can can do very much. If you just got hit by a zombie, you uh, tint uh, red, and if you jump on them, they they stop moving for a few seconds. If you reach the new level here, the goal, it's the star, you will then. Uh, go to the next level, which is in its own room. So you will see here if I will, if I overlap with this star, a new room is generated and the old here will be destroyed. Let's try it. We're now in level two. And you see there is a second room generated and the old room will be destroyed in a few seconds. Cool. So we add just another play here. We are in level 2, so we add this player to level 2. And I can see you can play together. And if one player has got to the next level, there will be two rooms, two users, each user in its own level, in its own 
uh, room in its separate phaser game instance. And then let's try the other the other one. Da, 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 wait. Ah, here's below here. So that's how it works. And also here's the same. This is uh, these rooms in the arcade uh, platformer game, for example, are limited to four players. If I now add uh, three more players to level three, you will see that one player is in its own room. Cool. Let me show you the debug examples. Uh, clicking here, then you can debug either physics or the arcade uh, scene. Uh, you will see then in the background uh, the rooms could disappear, the CPU goes back to zero or one, and uh, all the logs here. But focusing now on the physics, this does just uh, this shares the same code as the server uses, but uh, instead of then uh, loading the um, assets, it just renders the physics. This is nice to uh, yeah, debug the physics. And uh, let's go back to the arcade physics. That's exactly the same as the other one. Yes. So that's, I believe, all I wanted to show you. Hope you like it and can use it in your own projects soon. Thanks.